I guess the Fork event for us is about uh, our tutors showcasing what they can do. It's keeping up with our industry trends, making sure that the guys are researching and developing constantly. Um, so the actual dishes that they produce are trying to lead the way and show by example that, hey, we're actually pretty blinking good at what we do. Um, and show the industry that we're on par, if not better than some of the stuff that they're up to. Um, but also pushing some of the boundaries around different things that we do here. Um, and especially with the Nourish for Nil and the fork kind of events, we get to be able, we get to play with the food, uh, really look at that sustainability, uh, which is something that EIT is quite hot on. Broccoli stalks, nobody's using those, so I'm going to use broccoli stalks as the hero of the dish. I'm going to turn those into a somtam Thai green purple salad. Essentially, it's a dressing them sweet, uh, salty, spicy, sour. So lime juice, fish sauce, palm sugar. Then I combine that with some octopus. I thought octopus, that's another thing that's not used a lot. I'm going to turn them into a terrine and then slice it really thinly. So we're going to serve that with the somtam. And then I found some golden beetroot, which I pickled with some uh, yuzu plus the golden beetroot tops. I'm going to turn those into a little cashew cream, sorrel, beetroot puree. And I'm also going to make a um, yuzu kosho, which is a yuzu zest. We had loads left over chilies and turn it into paste with the yuzu zest and ferment that, and then turn it into another cream. So there's two, a green and a red cream. So my dish is going to be called tongue and cheek, served on a pig's skull. The dumpling itself will be made from old bread, rehydrated. Um, parts of the pork head will be used for the inside of the dumpling, as well as a broth inside the dumpling. And then I'm going to smoke some of the pork cheek and serve it with some braised tongue. And the salad, which will sit on top, top here, will be basically a floral arrangement, really, of, of, a, of a salad with crispy spring onion, which I will dehydrate and then crispen up. People ask me where I came up with this. I don't really know. I was actually thinking of the dumpling at the beginning and I wanted to use a cut of meat that doesn't often get utilised. So head, the meat from pig heads very, very rarely get, get used unless you're making brawn or the cheeks, etc, etc. So I decided to use yeah, the whole head and it just sort of evolved from there. I then wanted to find a bowl that I could have one end deep for the dumpling and the other end shallow for the salad. And then when I had a look at the, the head that I'd actually taken the meat from, I saw the perfect, the perfect solution. So I put it to the team and they thought it was awesome. So we'll see how we go, see how the customers think of it. So, yeah. I'm doing a venison dish. I got given two big bags of um, venison out of one of the staff members here who's a bit of a hunter. And uh, Nourish for Nil seems to be have an abundance of beetroot, leek and apple at the moment. So I've incorporated those into my dish. Uh, with the venison, I'm doing three different cuts. I'm doing uh, venison short ribs, sausage, venison sausage, and um, and venison loin. So I'm slow cooking the loin to marinate it, let it uh, marinate for four or five days to get it nice and tender. Uh, the short ribs, it's really slow braise, about four hours. And the sausages, I'm actually also using up some of Amanda's leftover pig cheeks. Uh, so that's to help, um, you know, moisten the sausages uh, to go on the dish. Uh, and so yeah, the garbage gastronomy or sustainable eating in restaurants um, is quite big at the moment. So we're, yeah, it's good timing that we're doing this with Nourish for Nil because we're doing it with our students and now we can um, show the public what we're doing with the sustainability. I am doing the cheese course and I have been spending the last six weeks making cheese. And over that time I have made um, blue cheese, I've made brie, um, I've made mozzarella, and I've also made a quick farm style cheese. Um, so it is like a, a feta, but without the salt. I really love cheese. So for me, this has been really good practice and training and because cheese is quite technical, you use a lot of milk 
Uh, and I've been very lucky that I've had some suppliers come on board. So I've sourced milk from Hohepa, and I've also had leftover milk from our classes here at EIT. I've been freezing cream, milk, blue top, green top, or farm style, which is like the fat on the milk. And I've mixed it with a mixture of milk to use it up and um, make some really good cheese. It's really stinky and mouldy, and of course my children are telling me how disgusting it is. And when they say that, I know that it's good, good, because it will have good flavour. I was given uh, pumpkin, apples and bread. So, unfortunately, not a lot of chocolate gets to run away these days. So, uh, so I had to get a bit creative with the dessert. Um, obviously, using what I had. So what you've got in front of you is a uh, phyllo team and rice crispy uh, base. Um, it's a pumpkin bread pudding that's inside, encapsulated in the white chocolate mousse. Uh, there's an apple tartan sitting on top. It's been glazed in a caramel and, and gold uh, glaze. <laughs> Uh, you have flexible um, cranberry gel as well as fluid cranberry gel. Uh, there's an apple foam, which is an eggless meringue, um, and there is a candied apple chip and toffee ice cream. This year we wanted to make it really about um, what's going on in the community, and we've heard a lot about Nourish for Nil, and how what they're doing is helping people who are having trouble getting food, but as well as that, they're also making sure that nothing goes to waste. That any food that would get chucked out from supermarkets, from bakeries, from butchers, any food that would go into landfill gets used. So we thought this would be a really good opportunity for our, our tutors to actually use their heads a little bit and come up with something really different to, to make something from the leftovers. We all went out to Nourish for Nil, uh, the whole chef team and the whole front of house team, and we had a look about, at what they do, and we were absolutely blown away by what they do. They just, um, they're incredible, they've got volunteers, they feed hundreds and hundreds of people a week. The whole concept is that nothing is wasted. It doesn't matter, they don't care who they feed, as long as it's, it's the food is used and not thrown away.